I'm joined now by Senator Cory Booker of New Jersey, Chief Deputy Whip of the Senate Democratic Caucus. Uh, are you surprised they're going to vote on this tomorrow? Uh, I'm actually very surprised. Uh, after the incredible outpouring of Americans that really shut a lot of folks down, this bill isn't better. This, they actually moved this bill to the right. And so a lot of these folks who are signing on to this now, I don't, I don't see how they don't understand uh, that this craven bill is going to hurt many, many more Americans. And frankly, in my opinion, it's going to cause, it should this ever pass, and that's another issue, both houses, uh, it, it, the, the folks who are voting for this will pay for this at the polls. So I don't understand what they're doing. They didn't try to come to the middle. They didn't try to reach out to Democrats. They didn't try to build a bipartisan coalition. Uh, they moved this further to the right uh, and are pushing this now through. I'm, so I'm surprised at the outcome. Do you, uh, this is, I honestly don't know the answer to this question. But do you talk to like New Jersey members of the House on stuff like this? I mean, you, you must work together on stuff like Medicaid and there are certain things you got to deliver for your state as a whole. Um, the, do you have those conversations about what this would mean for New Jersey, for instance? Yeah, I, I was actually very moved that a lot of New Jersey Congress people, Republicans, turned against the last bill. I don't know how they're shaping up for this one, but that was the result of thousands of New Jerseyans marching in front of people's offices, uh, demanding meetings, taking busings down here to Washington, not focused on the Democrats, but focused on uh, a lot of the Republicans. So to see them having switched their votes and announced that they weren't going to vote for it, uh, I'm praying that they're, uh, for their sake, that they're not in favor of what is a more extreme bill that's going to hurt. Uh, many, many more people in our country. I have seen expressed from some quarters, Democratic strategists, members of Congress off the record saying, this is such bad politics. Sure, go ahead. Let them pass it out of the House. It's not going to go anywhere in the Senate. What do you think about that? Well, look, uh, th th this, we're, we cannot be playing uh, politics with uh, people's health care or with people's sense of security. Uh, I, I, I live in a low-income community. It's where I've lived for the last 20 years. And it's moments like this that make people afraid. Uh, people who, since Obamacare, suddenly can afford prescription drugs, uh, suddenly can get their mental health care. Uh, I live right across the street from a drug treatment center. Uh, our efforts against the opioid crisis, the ACA put more money in it. Let, let's stop playing politics and, and get to a point in our country where people begin to understand that for a thriving nation, health care has got to be a right. It's got to be something that everyone has access to. And, and not just fiscally, because by the way, it makes incredible economic sense to do things like the, the Affordable Care Act did, access to preventative care, prenatal care, all of that makes sense because those investments pay off in terms of the productivity of our citizenry. But just for the moral urgency of this moment, the craven bill that I see coming uh, to vote tomorrow is just cruel and just wrong to tens of millions of Americans, Republicans, Democrats, independents, people who deserve more uh, from a nation this wealthy, this rich, they deserve better. So screw the politics. Uh, this is about people. Uh, this is about what's morally right. This is about what we stand for. And this is a president who has lied to people folks in red states and red counties who, who passionately want to keep their health care, who were promised better health care, more access, something better than the Affordable Care Act. Well, this is clearly not just worse, it, 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 it's a death knell. And I don't mean to be melodramatic about this, but I've seen this when people have to wait to get their health care till the emergency room. This will cost American lives if it ever becomes law. This will, this will mean death. Uh, pain and suffering to people's families. So I'm not interested in the politics. This is something that my colleagues, people I respect across the aisle, they just can't support for the, for God's sake, for the sake of our country and what we stand for. They cannot uh, pass this piece of legislation. All right, Senator Cory Booker, thank you for joining me. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.